40 to 31. 40. Malcolm McDonald. Super Mac was a goal scoring machine. Having topped the charts for Newcastle five years in a row, he joined Arsenal for the unusual fee of £333,333.34 ,33 and continued his trajectory. McDonald was Arsenal's top scorer two seasons in a row, winning the Golden Boot in 1977. After relegation battles before he arrived, his goals proved key as the Gunners climbed back up the league. 39. Lauren Brought to Arsenal as a midfielder, Lauren became the right back of the Invincibles, using his supreme physicality and incredible engine to bomb up and down the wing for seven years. The Cameroonian was superb on the counterattack and incredibly loyal to Wenger, the man who brought him to England, he could certainly hit a penalty, too. 38. Nigel Winterburn When Arsenal's final ever European night at Highbury was interrupted by a squirrel on the pitch, it earned the nickname, Nutty Nigel, after an enduring ex-defender. Nigel Winterburn was mad, all right, but he was also a superb left back who also scored the occasional rocket for the Gunners. He won three titles with Arsenal and was severely underappreciated by England. 37. George Armstrong The Highbury clock could have kept its time to George Armstrong's dependable jaunts down the wing. And ever present in Arsenal's 1971 double winning side, Armstrong was key creator, setting up the Ray Kennedy goal that won the title and providing much needed width. He made 500 league appearances, and shown in most of them. 36. Ashley Cole Things may have ended in ignominy for Ashley Cole at Arsenal, but during his time on the red side of London, he rose to define the modern fullback. Cole came through the ranks at Arsenal and changed the landscape for left-backs, he'd get forward and overlap and yet no one could beat him for pace one-on-one. -on -one. 35. John Radford Only three men have scored more goals than John Radford in an Arsenal shirt. But while the Gunners' history is littered with stylish strikers who ignited the imagination, Yorkshireman Radford was more of a no-frills frontman. Radford recorded 149 strikes for Arsenal in his 12 years at the club, blossoming under Bertie Mee's stewardship of the team. He was an old-school centre-forward, who loved to get stuck in and combine with his wingers, and he was unselfish too, setting up both goals in the 1971 FA Cup final. His phenomenal scoring record slowly dropped off but his commitment never did. Radford is still Arsenal's youngest ever hat-trick scorer too, and holds a special place in the hearts of those who watched him. 34. Sesc Fabregas Sesc Fabregas would redefine the direction of Arsenal FC under Arsene Wenger, when he danced across the Highbury pitch as a precocious teenager. For so long, Arsenal had been all about power and might but this Catalan kid recalibrated the focus to be on technical excellence from diminutive midfielders. Fabregas had vision like no Arsenal star before him in a maturity from the age of 16. He could control games effortlessly, bending defences to his will and he led by example across the field. He was a key figure when Arsenal made the 2006 Champions League final and when he picked up the captaincy, he became an icon of the Emirates era. 33. Sylvain Wiltord While Manchester City fans have, Agarou, Gunners have, Wiltord, the iconic Martin Tyler scream when Arsenal's Super Sylvain scored the winner at Old Trafford in 2002. Clinching the first part of a historic double. Wiltord was a record signing, having scored in the Euro 2000 final. The Frenchman played either out wide or up front and was pacey strong and a man for the big occasion, netting for the Gunners consistently in his four years at the club. While there were plenty of flashier names in North London though, Wiltord will forever be remembered as a player who rotated often but got the job done, he scored some important goals along the way. 2. 32. Charlie Nicholas Charlie Nicholas was described as, the most exciting player to emerge in Britain since George Best, when he signed for Arsenal in 1983 no pressure then. Champagne Charlie, was a luxury player of extravagant skill, 
who could turn a match on its head on. A whim. Two goals in a Boxing Day fixture against Tottenham proved that the season he joined, while the forward landed Arsenal's Player of the Year award in 1984. Nicholas netted twice in the League Cup final of 1987 to become a Wembley hero for the Gunners and perhaps his star quality was dimmed by the lack of a great strike partner, but for a while, he glittered at Highbury. 31. Steve Bold. Steve Bold and Tony Adams. George Graham had a novel form of scouting. He would ask his secretary to send over local newspapers to find out which players journalists were raving about, and that's how he found Lee Dixon. He sent a scout to watch the right back, only for a recommendation to be made of Steve Bold, too. Bold never let that scout down. He was a no-nonsense defender with brawn and brain, positionally flawless, strong in the tackle and Tony Adams' right-hand man. In 1989, he was Arsenal's number 10, the third centre-back in Graham's back five at Anfield that won the league, and just like he did that night, he would nullify strikers effortlessly week in, week out.